many people when they start out in internet marketing start out as affiliate marketers it's a very simple way to go it's a very simple way to get going with obviously out spending an awful lot of money it's also a very very powerful way of making money once you are established and you have your own list because of course you can sell other people's products to your list so affiliate marketing is a vital part of internet marketing pretty much everybody does it now what we've learned so far throughout this course applies here to affiliate conversions we're not going to go over the same stuff again and again because I don't think you need me to do that you want value so much of what we've learned take everything you've learned for AdSense and CPA and for your sales letter conversions and you can apply that to your affiliate conversions what well, one of the keys to succeeding with affiliate marketing is to really understand your target market if you can understand your target market then you've much much higher chance of increasing your conversion rate because you know what their problems are you know what their pains are you know what solutions they're looking for and so on and so forth so you really need to get inside the head of your target market who are they what do they want how old are they are they male or female how much disposable income do they have what are they looking for online all of this and more is what you're after but if you can understand their problems and their pain, the, the buttons to push to get reaction, then that's going to help you make a sale because when you're promoting to them as an affiliate marketer, you can push their pain buttons and highlight their problems and show them how the product that you are promoting is the solution. And doing that is going to increase your conversion rate significantly. You've got to understand why they've come through to your web page if you're promoting it through a web page why are they reading your article what have they come there to get that's what you understand they're obviously looking for something but what if you can understand it and give it to them you're going to get much better conversion rate basically they've got a problem and they're looking for a solution and if you can understand them and their problem and show them what the solution is you're going to make the sale now one word of advice if you're setting up a website for your affiliate marketing tightly focused websites usually sell a lot better than broad ones I mean by all means have um, a broad uh, a niche focused website if that's appropriate but also have tightly focused ones because they're easier to rank for and often because they're focused on a single problem a single issue they sell an awful lot better for people now one big technique that works very very well particularly in the internet marketing niche but it's not seen so much outside of internet marketing but it's still very effective is to offer bonuses if they buy through your link so if they buy the product you say well I'll give you half an hour's free consultation I'll give you this mp3 recording this um, report or whatever it might be but you offer them some bonuses so basically you're bribing them to buy through your link by adding value through some bonuses that you will provide them now these need to be something that you have permission to sell so you have the rights to sell or something you've created yourself but if it's unique and they can't get it anywhere else and it adds a lot of value to the purchase they are much more likely to buy but you know despite the fact it's very common in internet marketing and you'll see in internet marketing uh, people falling over each other to offer the biggest bonuses so that they get people to buy outside of internet marketing is not so common and it's very very effective because people don't expect it but if you're doing it it has to be something that is very very relevant to the product and adds a lot of value to it and complements it so you may need to create something especially for it another thing to do is to build a list as an affiliate marketer if you're an affiliate marketer you build a list and build rapport with them if you have rapport with your list you're going to find it a lot easier to sell affiliate products now most marketers build lists and if you are uh, have a good relationship with the list when you recommend a product a good percentage of them will buy because they trust you now if you've built a a, a good rapport with them good relationship and they know that you don't peddle rubbish and you're only going to recommend good products you're going to have a much much higher conversion rate now I've seen this firsthand in selling products I've seen people with huge lists and no rapport sell nothing yet I've seen people with small lists and a, a lot of rapport and a great relationship and good trust sell massive amounts of product 
So it's a huge, huge difference in what you can succeed at if you have a list and you've got a good relationship with them. The key really is to understand your market. If you understand your market, then it's going to be a lot, lot easier for you to sell to them. End of story. And that really, I think, applies to pretty much any type of selling. You have to understand who you're selling to in order to succeed. Now, one part of affiliate marketing, we're just going to touch on it briefly here, is article marketing. A lot of, a lot of us, particularly when you start out, you do affiliate marketing using articles. Now, if you're doing that, in order to get high conversion rates, you need very targeted keywords that you can rank for, you need very good articles, and you need good resource boxes. Now, you may want to test your resource boxes, test different resource boxes to see uh, your click-through rate, to try and get a higher click-through rate. Remember, when you're article marketing, your resource box is not selling the product. All your resource box is focused on is people clicking through to your website or wherever you want them to go. It's got nothing to do with selling the product. It's all about getting to click through. And if you focus on that with your resource box, you're going to get a much higher conversion rate. But ultimately with affiliate marketing, you need to focus on your niche. Don't get sidetracked. Don't um, try and expand out. Focus on that niche. Understand your market and understand their pain, their problems, what buttons they need pushed, and market to them through that. If the, the target market has a particular problem they want solving, press the buttons that make them go, ow, that's a problem that hurts. I want a solution. So that they read what you've written and then go, yeah, I want that solution. Click, they buy, you've made a sale. That's the ultimate goal. But with everything you've got here and everything we've covered, you can increase your conversion rates through affiliate marketing very, very well. It depends upon how you're doing it as to what you do. If you're building a list, then obviously you need to have a good relationship with them to sell. If you're article marketing, you need good keywords, good articles, and good resource boxes. If it's a normal website that you've uh, set up to sell the products as an affiliate, then you need to obviously um, make sure that it's a focused website. Again, good keywords that's focused on pushing people's pain buttons so that they realize the solution to their problems is right in front of them.